Hello everyone. Welcome to ArcGIS Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform map composition using ArcGIS. Please note, I have installed ArcGIS 10.5 in my computer and I'm currently using the ArcMap application. To start the map composition, you have to change your viewer from data view to layout view. Click that and you'll immediately see there's a change in the layout. You can change the layout of this by clicking into this icon and selecting a corresponding option of your own choice. I will prefer to use C portrait here and select that. Let us now start by adding the data. Right. Here I have opened a random classified map and you will note the classified map has a large number of layers. In fact, I do not want to have this background black colored information. So I'll right click on the layer here, go to properties, then go to symbology, then select unique values and identify the class that has black color and then click remove. Apply and press OK and you will now see the background is now gone. Let us now start adding components to it. So select on the insert menu option then select north arrow you have a large number of options to insert a north arrow i'll click this one here then press ok you'll see it has added now i'll position it to the top right corner once again go to the insert option now you select scale text you have a lot of options here but i'll select one inch equals to 16 miles option then go to properties Change the units as per your scale. For example, I want the units in centimeters, so I'll select centimeters. And the map units, I want it in kilometers, so I'll change it to kilometers. Then select the number format. Here, you click on the number of significant digits after the decimal point, and you can select a certain number of digits to appear after the decimal point. Here, I'll set it to two, and I'll press OK. The separator is given here as equal, so we will get something very similar like this. So it will say something like one centimeter is equal to a finite number of kilometers. So let us apply and see. It has appeared here. I'll just place it here. Now you'll note that it is not properly visible, so double click on that. Now you change the label from centimeter to cm and kilometers to km. This is a short form. Then go to format, change the font size or font style if you want. Now, since it is not visible here, I'll change it to a higher value. You can cross verify, it is a little large here, so I'll just reduce it to 36. Right, this is okay, so I'll just position it just below the north arrow. After that, we'll once again go to the insert menu and now insert the scale bar. Here, once again, you have a large number of options, but I'll select the scale bar one here. Once again, I'll select the properties. I'll change the units here from miles to kilometer. Then I'll apply that. Just come here, you can see, just drag it to wherever you want, preferably in the bottom left corner. Then let us add a title to the map. So you can just give whatever you want here. So I'll write it something as SVM classified map. Okay, so it will automatically come to the center position. You can change it by just clicking and dragging the same. If by some means you have made a mistake in typing the correct title, you'll have to then right click on it, convert it to graphics, then double click on that and then you will get the text. You can make changes here. You can make the changes in size and position as well if you want. Then by clicking change symbol option, you will get further options for changing the style, size as well as other things. So I'll go for bold option here. I'll keep the size as it is, press OK, apply, press OK. You have to be very careful while dragging and dropping options here. For example, if you select the layout and try to drag it, this is what happens. So you have to be very careful there. Select the corresponding option you want to change or move, then try to drag and drop. Now, since this is a classified map, I want to add the legend. 
Legend is nothing but the contents of the map given in a descriptive manner. So you can see the classified map here consists of three different classes. However, the names of the classes are not clearly given. So to name the classes, you can directly click on the icon here and then give a name to it. For example, the green colored class here is actually non-urban. Red here is water body, so click on to, I'll change it as water body. Lastly, blue color represents urban, so I'll change it to urban. Right, let us now add the legend. So go to insert, select legend, simply click on pressing next until the legend is added. Now you can drag it and paste it wherever you want. If you want to move the map itself, then you'll have to select this icon here, then try to drag it. After that, you have to once again click on the arrow to select the other entities in the map composition. After doing all of these things, now we will add the location of the data. To do that, right click on the map, select properties, select grids, select new grid and here press next for the first time. Here are supposed to mention what is the scale. For example, I will change it to 10 and 30 in both of it. It is supposed to be a trial and error technique. So I will press next until the latitude and longitude appear on the map. You will see that the location information has in fact appeared, but it is not properly visible. So let us edit the grid parameters. If in case your map has moved here and there, you can click on this icon to recenter it. I am going to once again right click, properties. Now we are already at the grid. So let us now edit the grid by selecting properties. Importantly, I'm supposed to change the interval of the location here because now it appears to be too small. So I'll change it to 1. Then come to labels. Here you select all four axes for labels. But it is important to select left and right here to change the orientation of the latitude and longitude appearing on the map. Then I'll also increase the size of the font because it is almost not visible. And then I'll apply to see what has happened. Right. So now you see we have location information embedded in the map composition. But as we can see, it is quite large. So I'll just go back to properties again and I'll decrease the font size. This is somewhat acceptable, but the intervals are too small here. So I'll change the intervals as well. This is okay. And lastly, I'll remove these lines also. So go back to properties, select lines, select do not show lines or ticks, press OK, apply. Right. So now we have completed the map composition. And before I end this video, I will show you how to extract this map as well. To do that, go to File, select Export Map. Now you have a large number of options to export. For example, let me say I would like to export it as a PDF. Then you can even select how many DPAs you want. I would set it at 300 and leave it at that. I will select a location for the saving option and give a name as well. That's it. Now you press save. It will take some time and in fact you can see the progress here. Let us now minimize this and open the map. Right. So as you can see here, this is how a map composition would look like. Right. That is how you will create a map composition using ArcGIS. If you like this video, Kindly press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on ArcGIS. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.